One of the effective ways to make a PowerPoint more interesting or effective for learners to study independently is to add audio and video that were either created by the teacher him or herself, videos created by others, or those posted on YouTube. First, let's see how we can add an audio file. To do that, we need to go to the Insert, click on Audio, and we can either add the audio from the file that is available on your computer, you can add the clear part uh, audio that is available as part of the Microsoft Office package, or we can record an audio. Let's record the audio. When we click the button, we will have a number of keys. If we press the red button, we will be able to record. After the audio is created, we will have a special icon on our slide that looks like a speaker that will um, show that the audio is available. For example, if I click play, Now let's add a video file. So before this recording, I've created a simple PowerPoint sli uh, slides to um, serve as a background for the audio. So now to create the video, all I need to do is go to File, click on Save and Send, select Create a Video, click on Use Record Timings and Narrations, and select Record Timings and Narrations, and click Start Recording. After that, all we have to do is just record the audio for each slide independently. When it's over, done recording audio, just click Create Video. And say where you want to save this video. For example, the video into our final PowerPoint. To do that, we need to click again on the Insert tab and click on the video and we want to insert video from file. And here is my video. Now all you have to do is just select it and click insert. So as you can see, now we have our video available here. So if I click on it, the formation of stalactites and stalagmites start with a mineral laden drop of water. The important thing is to remember is that the file should be saved in the same place where the PowerPoint and should not be removed because the PowerPoint just links to the video file. If you find some interesting video on YouTube, you can embed it as well. To do that, you need to find the video, of course, for example, like I did here, then click Share, Embed, but when it comes up, however, by default, when you click on Share, it shows the code for iframe, and this is not something that you can embed into a PowerPoint. So to solve that problem, scroll down a little bit and um, highlight or check mark the box where it says use old embed code. Copy it, then go back to your PowerPoint. Oops, sorry. Insert video, video from website, paste your code and click insert. Right now it is a black box. You need to make sure that you have the most recent Flash Adobe Player, Adobe Flash Player installed to make sure that it plays correctly. Additional ways to make your PowerPoints more fancy is, for example, to add little characters who are able to talk, and you can record the, your audio in there.